Hmm, just gonna get a little one bit ninja on right here. Let's see. Let me look down the road and yeah, it looks clear. Let's see. Ah, come on, Steve. You're calling me at the wrong time. Thankfully, I have the new version of Call Bar, which allows me to keep doing what I'm doing without being interrupted by the phone app. Isn't that great? All right, so let's just, well, you know what? I better go ahead and answer Steve's call. All right, Steve, what do you want? Windows 8, Windows 8, Windows 8, there's Windows 8 on the tablet. You gonna, you gonna do some video Well, well Steve, you just made me die. You... Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. All right, I'm going to put this on speaker so everybody can hear your oh, ridiculousness. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, so Steve isn't actually on the call, but I just wanted to show off the new version of Call Bar. It is Call Bar version 1.0 for iOS 5, and it integrates directly with the banner notifications in iOS 5. You can mute, you can put the speaker on right from the notification center. You see the amount of time that the phone call has been going on, and it works from everywhere. You can be at your home screen, you can be playing a game, you can be in an app, and it just integrates directly with iOS 5's notification banner. And because of this, it's very elegantly designed, as you can see, very Apple-esque. You can actually answer or decline phone calls directly from the notification banner just by swiping to the left or to the right. You can also dismiss phone calls by using your, your volume keys. Uh, let me just show you how you can decline a message here. All you need to do, like I was saying, swipe to the left. I'm gonna show you right now, swipe to the left, call ended. So you can actually decline a call just by swiping on notification banner. Now, let me show you something else here. Let me show you the volume buttons. What they do, you press the volume button and it actually dismisses the call for the time being. And then you can come back to it if you feel like coming back to it. You can answer or hang up or you can just make it ring again and show the mobile number, show the picture of the contact, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and just, hmm. Let's go ahead and just decline that right there from the dismissal bar. So now let's talk about the settings app and particularly the settings panel for call bar. Here are all the options for call bar. You can enable or disable it outright. You can use it at the lock screen. Then they have these options. You can enable the phone call bar or the answer in place, which allows you to answer your calls from any game or any app, etc. Then you have FaceTime call bar, Skype call bar, Viber, and then pressing the lock button, you can choose what that does as well. So it's really nice. A lot of different options. Let me just show you what happens when you receive a call at your lock screen. There it is. Steve's calling me again. He just won't leave me alone, folks. I don't know why. Let's press the dismissal button, which is, of course, the volume key. And then you can go ahead and answer it directly from the dismissal button, just like that. And you can see the contact picture shows up on the call bar as well, right next to the mute and the speakerphone buttons. Very, very nice layout here. Um, the way they integrated this with iOS 5 is just excellent. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the new version of Call Bar, Call Bar version 1.0 for iOS 5. It is excellent, isn't it? Looks great. It is free for existing Call Bar customers. If you're new, Ugh. come on, Steve, get out of here, man. Anyway, if you're a new customer, it will be $3.99. You can get it on Cydia's Mod My Eye repo when it releases. No release date yet, but look for it soon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.